ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Joe Tessitore and Teddy to Atlas the welcoming you to the, the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. In the Great corner. atmosphere here From tonight. You Pensacola. talk to everybody ringside, Roy and they expect Jones. this one to be a barn burn. His adversary, by way of Brooklyn, Iron Mike Tyson! Okay guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room, let's touch gloves. Round slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. And Roy blocks that punch. It's hard to touch Roy Jones Jr. with a clean glove. But if he can, his opponent does have power. Yes, he does have power, and he has a chance to catch Roy. Big shot to left. Look at that! Early on here in the round already down and he doesn't look good at all Get One, two three get up damn it jones is now getting back up off the canvas carries that punch intended for the head keeping him honest with the double jab up top Jones' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Up top with the right hand. Roy Jones Jr.'s not just loading up, he's landing combination punches like he did right there. They trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. Solid. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got callous here. Get up. One, get up. two. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. Oh, Mike Tyson turns that hook in well. Able to land the hook to the head. A well-placed overhand right. Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. And that does it for this round. Mike Tyson's in control of this fight, scoring the knockdown in that last round, now trying to carry some of that momentum through. Well, right now, we're going to find out if he's a finisher. And promoters, fans, they love finishes. Networks, they love finishes. Right now, he has a chance to show that's what he is. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Four, five. Jones' trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Oh! You never saw this in the early half of the career of Roy Jones Jr. He got clipped with a power shot and Two, couldn't withstand it. Three, four, five, six. Roy Jones Jr. is able to get back up to his feet, but Teddy, this is a much different story than when he survived the last knockdown. That is a situation where he has to be taught how to handle this situation. Has he been taught the gym? He just missed that shot up top. Nice. 
Well played, straight right hand. Mike Tyson's throwing punches out there that may cost him dearly because these are perfect and prime to be countered with. Yeah, they are. They're a little too fat. And when they're a little bit too fat, guess what? The butcher's going to come over and he's going to cut that fat off. Oh, well, his opponent's going to throw in between them. Move your head! One, two jabs up top. Yeah, give him one! Roy Jones Jr.'s punch is far off the target. Mike Tyson's combination punching is working well here. Wow, what an uppercut. He scored well after being hit himself. Jones is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Tyson's approach here is to score from the outside at long range, Teddy. And he's been headhunting and cashing in. Well, he sees that his opponent is coming in the same way all the time. So he's picking him up, pot shotting him a little bit before he gets close. Good exchange, scoring well with the right hand. Nice. Zoning in on that gut, combination punch downstairs. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Two snapping jabs by Mike Tyson. Very nice defensive guard there. Oh, and there you go. From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. Five, six, seven. He has shown some guts in getting up yet again, but now he may need a little bit of luck to survive. Well, he's going to need a little bit of a clinch. He might need crazy glue. To just get oh, a big shot comes home for him. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be toward the elevator fight. Up and down all night. Five. 